Hello guys, Hurricane here and welcome back to my channel. In today's short video I'm going to show you how you can find new coins to mine. Uh, after that I'm also going to show you how you can calculate your daily 24 hour profits uh, on a new coin. Not all new coins comes with a calculator or or uh, to, uh, similar tools so uh, and m many of them are not listed uh, on what to mine or hash rate of an o. therefore uh, the way I'm going to show you the calculator I'm going to show you uh, will help you on how you can calculate your 24 hour profits before we start I just want to give you a little in very important information there are a lot of coins that are getting that are getting released every day uh, and we are talking what we are going to look at are mining uh, coins that you can mine and when a coin is released um, most certainly it will have very few pools that you can mine to uh, most of them have just one or two and also uh, one of those few servers probably also have a very high amount of hash rate of the total network hash rate example it could have a way above 51 percent of the network hash rate the thing is that you want to stay away uh, of pools that have more than the 50 percent 51 percent of the network hash rate because if the pool have that it's less decentralized and it's open for uh, attacks and you don't want to be uh, a victim uh, you don't want to keep mining or be a victim to those types of attacks and the second thing is that give a new coin some time if you s if you think it have some potential if you think it, c it could give you some profits give it some time don't jump on it right away give it three four months um, most likely it have been out on uh, some test nets before it was launched on the main net so give it some time see if uh, things stabilize and that the hash rates gets uh, will be over several different servers so just just give it some time and uh, and uh, if it survived the three four first months uh, it, it could gain you some but now let's uh, jump into our first web page and uh, take a look on how we can find new coins the first page here we are going to look at is called mining pool stats dot stream or that's the address mining pool stats dot stream the page is called mining pool stats and here we have proof of work coins the, no coins listed here is proof of stake or any types of non mineable coins and when you enter this page you have two tabs on the left side here you have events calendar and you have new coins the events calendar is actually uh, pretty useful because uh, it shows you uh, uh, I'm sorry that the page is loading so f uh, slow there's something wrong with my network at the moment but uh, it shows you uh, which day the next halving is which date the next halving is and you can see litecoin is in 121 days and we all know bitcoin halving is coming next year it's 398 days too so a little above more than a year and uh, ethereum classic it's in 420 days word coin so this is a nice place you see flux uh, you also see past events so flux has been for 47 days ago it had its halving Where's coin had its halving so it's it's a nice calendar to check up on uh, known coins and when those uh, halvings uh, will occur 
Now let's go back to the main page here. And we click in here on new coins. You get a list of new coins that are listed at miningpools.stream. Now let's see if we can find a coin with low pools. Here we have no pools known. The hash rate of the pools, network hash rate, net for difficulty. If we go to alter coin maybe. Yes, as you see here, this is what I talked about. 100% of known hash rate. I would never mine to this pool. And as you can see here, it's just one miner too. So, <coughs> it's not a coin that has some potential, if you're asking me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we could try Bitfish coin. As you see here, they have several pools, but uh, uh, the top one, our plant have 80.8 percent of the hash rate now i couldn't mine bitfish but i wouldn't mine it to our plant i would go on the second one because it has a lot around 10 percent of the known hash rate um, flora chain maybe now here you have some now 44.9 is less than 51 so you can mine there but i would probably go with uh, crazy pool because it's lower than 44 is close up to 51 percent so uh, before you know it you could suddenly bounce up and more people are jumping into it because now let's see uh, last block was found now okay four minutes four minutes okay they have the same almost the same average time when blocks are found so uh, that's not that dangerous but uh, I I'm I'm a little bit nervous to go on pools that are above 40% uh, because you never know if you put suddenly jump to 51% uh, so I, I, li I, I like to stay in the safe zone so 32 is a nice percentage the other page that you can check for new coins that I know of is coingecko.com uh, on their main page here you have a tab up here you just click on new coins and you can see new coins and when they're added added 23 minutes ago 24 minutes ago 36 minutes ago etc etc now these are coins not all of these are mineable so you have to check if it's a mineable coin many of these can be just tokens uh, that you need to trade or something like that so these the third thing you can do to to uh, find out uh, how you can uh, find new coins to mine is to go to web pages like uh, reddit.com and on this uh, group here new crypto listing there people are writing about it and uh, and uh, here you can get some uh, hints and tips about uh, uh, new coins that will are uprising or and also not just reddit reddit.com but uh, you have different discord channels you have other community pages uh, I know Tom Tom's hardware earlier on talked about a uh, uh, upcoming coin that I think is just finished on the t test tree phase and is preparing for being to, to preparing to be launched on mainnet and that coin was called a Leo a, a Leo so according to Tom hardware hardware Tom's hardware that coin could have some potential and could uh, uh, bring new hopes for GPU miners as uh, the title was uh, I made a video about Leo earlier so you can check it out if you want now when you have find a coin that you want to mine then you want to find out the profitability is this profitable for me and if you go to new coins and you can go to flora chain maybe 
and uh, as you can see here there are no cal yes here is a calculator from minor stuff actually let's find one without um, uh, let's take uh, the coin that is nine days old and you also see the pool cash rate or the natural cash rate how much this pool have has uh, the natural cash rate now I don't think yes this coin does not have a currency so now we can try to see if this is profitable uh, actually we can't because I have never mined this so I don't know uh, the actually ha the actual hash rate for this coin uh, if I would mind it and this is a CPU coin but we could search up Yada coin and we can do the calculations let's see I'm sorry my my internet connection is very bad today I don't understand why uh, now with Yada coin we could use Yada coin IO web page because Yadokom utilizes the random X algorithm and I have mined uh, I've tested out Yadokom earlier and I know the hash rate on it so if you head over to my webpage the only hurricane.com and you click on the calculator dash tools section uh, not dash but uh, forward slash uh, you have a 24 hour profit calculator on the top here you also have a hash rate calculator here when you fill it fill in 10 here on mega hash it automatically adjusts the other ones uh, here it says what you need to fill in uh, so the first thing we need to find out is how many blocks per day uh, is found on the Yada coin network and well if you go back to mining pool stats dot stream you can see uh, on the right side here average block time is 561 seconds so that means if we take we if we find out how many seconds it is in one day you do 60 multiply with 60 because it's 60 seconds in one, uh, one minute and it's 60 minutes in one hour you get 3600 seconds you multiply th uh, that with 24 hours it's 86,400 now we divide 86,400 with 561 Then we get 154.01 blocks per day It's uh, that it's found on that network. 154.01. Now the block reward does not st uh, is not informed about here. I don't think so. No. But most of the time, or often, if we go into one of those their pools, they will have information of uh, how many blocks it's found per day. And if you go to yadacoin.io pool, you see that the block reward is 12.5. Go back to our calculator, put in 12.5, and we hit calculate. This is the coins for miners per day. Now we keep that. We don't. Now we have the first value that we're going to input here. Now we need to find our hash rate. So if we take my four, three thousand nine hundred x, they would probably work around twelve point sixty eight. See, twelve point six. Twelve. Let's say twelve point five kilo hash. 0.5 multiplied by 4, that's 500. Oi, sorry, 12 point, but that's 50 anyway. 
So we put in 50 and the network hash rate. Now we can either see here or we can go here. Now the network hash rates is said to be 142,000, no, 1,427,248. Here it says uh, something else, a little bit strange. We could, um, hmm. Ah, sorry, it's correct. Uh, the, we, we, we use this number uh, because this is the correct one. This hash rate here is just from known pools. So, if I'm not wrong. But anyway, I will u use this one, this number here. And as it's, uh, don't forget, uh, you need the hash rate to be in hashes per seconds. We need to change this to 50,000. Now you can calculate your percentage. Now we, if you take our percentage and coins from miners per day and we calculate, we get 67.44 coins for me per day based on the numbers here. Remember, we used this hash rate. I'm not sure if this is accurate, but Yadacoin pool, the other coin pool, the other pool is the developer of the other coin. So I'm relying on their hash rate number rather than this one uh, from mining pool stats dot stream at the moment. Uh, if we take coins for me per day or for you. And the current price of the Yada coin, and the current price we find here 0 0.00338. Now we can copy this number here. And paste it in here and hit calculate. Now it gives me 22 cents a day, almost 23. In this way, it shows you. Now we can test this. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if if uh, okay. my hash rate in mega hash. Let me see. Is it 0 0.5? No, it's 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Yes. So if you put it in here. Zero point forty one. I don't think this is correct. Actually, I don't, because I have never gotten one hundred and twenty yada coins a day. I've gotten more close up to around sixty yada coins a day when I tested mining of yada coin, and there has not been any any halving of yada coin. So this calculator is probably not hundred percent accurate, and I think it will show when you get into the miners that. Points uh, page here. Let's check it out. This this coin has no data on price and markets. So, as you can see, the calculator here isn't accurate. I think what we get here now is more accurate. Either way, we have put in the values that we know are correct. So, it could ma er, make me. 22 cents a day and you can use this calculator for all new coins as long as you have the information that it asks for and the information it asks for is these four here that you need to find the blocks per day the block reward your hash rate in hashes per second and your network hash rate in hashes per second not the pool hash rate, but the network hash rate. Here you have the pool hash rate, but you need a network hash rate. And uh, when you have these numbers filled in, you will get uh, the coins for 
minus per day and your percentage per day you put it in in the in these two fields here and then you get how many coins you get per day uh, you can also use my simple tool of break even but that's just a easy dividing uh, um, a calculator you just the total cost of an item let's let's see if one CPU if I had one CPU uh, and I made no I don't have one CPU I have four so they be, that will be twelve hundred dollars for those four it would take me 5264 days to break even if I just mine the other coin <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> so and when you're first here you also can see that I have a hash rate overview now this if you click on the tree this is just the AMD I have but if you click on the 3900x and you hit submit you get the list of different algorithms power consumption and the reported hash rate based on these power consumptions now I'm working on a new and a better CPU tool it will probably go on its own page because I, I like CPU mining uh, one of the f f nicest thing with CPU mining is that after the Ethereum merge, especially after the Ethereum merge, CPU mining has still been profitable. I GPU mining has been very, very down, but CPU mining has been profitable. So that's one of the reasons I like CPU. The, the bad thing or the negative thing with the CPU is that you don't just of course with the GPU you also need uh, either a PCIe slot or a riser uh, and, a, and a mining motherboard or a mo general motherboard and uh, uh, memory but that you also need with CPU you also need memory sticks you need a cooler you need um, uh, power supply you need uh, a hard drive or a USB stick so when you buy a GPU, you buy just a GPU. Most of the people just think of the GPU. But when you buy a CPU, you're not finished yet with your CPU rig because you need the rest. So it could it could uh, it could easily cost you five hundred dollars for a for a three thousand nine hundred X with uh, the motherboard and everything. So, but that discussion is for another day. Uh, again this is how you can calculate and this is how these are the main two pages I use to uh, to find new coins the other thing I also do I follow some youtubers I follow rabbit mining I follow red panda mining I follow son of attack and uh, these guys are heavyweight uh, miners they have been in this game for some while and they know one or two things about uh, they all not just know but they are also getting uh, sponsored by different uh, uh, producers and, uh, and and retail stores and etc and they got they have a very huge community uh they get the tips and hints and they share it with all of us so i would also recommend you guys to follow them and use discord if you find a new coin if you have um let's take up my discord channel here uh, let's see if it pops up it's, just now it's checking for updates but discord is one of the beautiful things with Discord is that you can use it uh, to ask questions, to find out stuff about uh, either mining or or, or uh, if you see here, here we have a uh, yellow coin. You can you can find out. You can have a general discussion. You can you can ask for support. You can talk to moderators. You can talk to other miners etc 
everything will be in their discord channel and the nice thing with discord is that is that uh, you most certainly get an answer for whatever you are wondering uh, for whatever you are not uh, getting solved or what you need to get start run start running or mining if you have any issues whatever the, uh, but the second thing is be aware of uh, scammers no professional uh, not professional but serious uh, mining channels like Yada coin or uh, <coughs> iron fish flux neoxa this uh, Dero uh, nexa caspa Bitcoin Leo you name it no none of them or the moderators of, the, of those pages will contact you and DM you uh, first you have to contact them if you want anything if you want to have a private message with them they will never do it to you if you get a if you get an offer from someone that sounds too good to be true it is too good to be true don't fall for it stay away from offers and casinos and stuff like that that you get tipped by it in a private messages and uh, I, ha I have experienced a lot of of uh, personal DMs that have arrived from uh, users that say or scammers that say they are they are uh, a DM of uh, that and that uh, channel and uh, the first thing, uh, the f many are actually. I, I would say I met a nice scammer. He, he told me that uh, he out, he helped me with um, a problem that I had. I think it was on uh, the zero node I was setting up, and he DM'd me. But I remember the rule that uh, the moderators never DM you first. And after a while, uh, because he was building trust, so after a while, af he uh, said, "How is you? How is your mining doing? You want to test out this? I, I have tried that and that, and it's giving me some good returns." And I said, "No, I'm not interested." And he, but he, he still was pushing, so I checked up of some of the other moderators, and I asked him about the guy. And he said, "Oh, he's a scammer. Stay away from him." And I blocked him. And uh, anyway, they never DM you first. And always remember, if a if an offer is too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Don't fall for it. Stay away. Now, my last tip is that when you mine, mine to your own wallet. Don't mine to exchanges. Don't don't hold your money on the exchange and and uh, keep away you you can involve yourself in in new projects and stuff like that so what you do with your mining rig is your business but don't keep things on exchanges always mine to your own wallet and if you have money on exchanges trade them out and send them to your wallet don't keep them there just use exchanges for uh, to trade and to Exchange in uh, from, uh, for example, Yada coin to Bitcoin. Don't don't don't, don't hold them there. Just take them out and uh, hold them in your own wallets. So, I have another tip. Uh, we can ta we can do now before uh, we round round up this video. <coughs> and that is actually about exchanges. Now, if you go to Coin Gecko. And you go to coins here. Uh, oh, my internet connection is so bad today. There have to be something wrong nearby. And if we select, um, let me see. Let's select. Let's let's actually select uh, UBQ. And we go on markets. Now here, you don't fall for this one. Here, 
uh, you see there are three different exchanges listed but just only one have a trust score and its trust score is yellow if we go back and we go to Bitcoin and you go on markets you see trust score is green most of these are green of course Bitcoin is one of the most popular it's the most popular coin uh, so here you have uh, known exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Bitfinex. Uh, I trade on uh, CoinX, not trade, exchange on CoinX. Uh, let's see if we find it here. Uh, 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 I change on CoinX and Tixbit sometimes because Tixbit I think have um, uh, I don't remember what it had but let's find the Casper let's find Casper uh, you have Tixbit and you have CoinX and all of these down here are trust green trust score Max C Global is trustworthy. All of these trade Ogre, you probably heard of. Uh, I haven't used XTS.com, I will never use it. And this is also one thing you should check the trust score. You can do it both here on CoinGecko and on CoinMarketCap, but you should trust check the trust level of the coin of the new coin that you want to mine and maybe exchange into Bitcoin later because if it have I think if you search up Yada coin I don't think it's listed in many different markets safe trade yes I mine a little bit of Yada coin I just wanted to test and you see it doesn't have any trust score and I and uh, I sent around 10 Yada coins to safe trade or something like that and I trade it to uh, BTC uh, the volume was very low but uh, uh, it took a lot of time huge amount of time um, almost a half a day before it was finished uh, converting from Yada coin to Bitcoin and also the transaction from my Yala coin wallet to safe trade took a lot of time so I, I but this was just a test but I don't trust safe trade uh, and as you can see here it has no trust score the most certain uh, those you saw on Caspa are very safe Max C global tick speed Coinex, Trade Ogre, but I try to keep as low uh, exchanges as possible. Uh, I'm not interested in mining a bunch of coins that is just profitable for uh, a couple of days or a couple of weeks. That doesn't give me anything, uh, especially when it's below a dollar or, or, or se uh, below several dollars. And it's just some sense. I, I don't want to push my uh, rigs on it or anything because in the end it won't give me much and uh, it's more I use more power than earning uh, and of course if you have free power you can do whatever you want you then you're free but as you see here uh, these here I would say are very safe uh, of course uh, we go back here on Ubic here you could use it on quick quick swap if i should choose about uh, from this uh, it would be quick swap but i i wouldn't change it anyway on on uh, quick swap so check out the coins the markets which exchanges they are listed on check the trust score just uh, be sure that you don't lose your earnings that's the That's very bad if that happened. So now I hope this video helped you. Uh, I am going to launch another video about uh, 
have a plan for your mining, trading or crypto journey. I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit how you should set up your plan, stick to your plan, what things you should do to be maybe a successful miner. Remember, none of the things is a uh, it's uh, as I, as I've written down on my web page here. My content is just for informational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research and consult a professional investment advisor before you make any decisions. So keep that in mind. Do your own research. Don't mind to exchanges. Mind to your own wallet. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button. Uh, also hit that notification bell so you get notified on... Uh, no, also hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you get uh, notified on upcoming videos. I hope you have a nice day and uh, i see you next time. Bye bye.